awesome great glorious day it is this is the day the lord has made and indeed we shall rejoice and be glad in it john chapter number eight however for context sake so we'll take time in reading the points of scripture in order for us to understand what's going on and how we can be able to apply it and live through it so john chapter number eight and verse one but jesus went to the mount of olives early in the morning he came again to the temple all the people came to him and he sat down and taught them the scribes and the pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and placing her in the midst they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. Now in the law of Moses, uh, now in the law Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? This they said to test him, that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. Mm, that's deep. We'll look at it. And once more he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Now, John chapter number 8 is interesting because Jesus Christ, they bring to him a woman caught in the act of adultery and and, and jesus guys well by law it takes two to tango so they were supposed to bring the two of them in order for them to be stoned however the greatest lesson we get to learn from this scripture is god's mercy god's faithful and failing love god's amazing grace how that this woman yes is guilty but Jesus Christ shows her love. Jesus Christ shows her no condemnation. Jesus Christ doesn't pick up a stone to stone her. Jesus Christ says to everybody to say, you do not have right to judge anyone. Only the Father has the right to judge. And so, even in this day and age, yes, we've thrown stones at people as, as Christians. Yes, we've, we've said stuff, we've judged people, and we have to repent because only God can judge. And so all we ought to do is when people are in error is pray for them that God will show them his mercy, his love, and they'll be able to come to the saving knowledge of him. And we see how this moment is a turnaround in this woman's life. How that she doesn't feel condemned, but she feels loved and a light is shone in her. Jesus Christ says to her to say, where are the people who condemned you? Where are the people who wanted to stone you? And then he tells her to say, go and sin no more. When you are in Christ, you have power over sin. You have victory over death. You have victory over sin. Because his love, his grace is within us. I love you, but the good Lord loves you more. Remember, you are loved. Remember, no one will throw stones at you because you are loved. You are God's beautiful masterpiece. I love you, but the good Lord loves you more. God bless you and keep you. Shalom.